I do want to go to your Bible group. Going home for a ride? It's not Tam's scooter, it's Maddie. She stole it. All right, she's bleeding. What's going Put on? Some gel and they stop They're trying, but we need to let them work. Now. Come on, come out with no, me. No, I'm not leaving her. Please don't tell me that she's broken it back. All you had to do was keep an eye on her and you couldn't even do that. How is she? She's stable. The operation went well, but... The theatre with spleen was more extensive than we thought. The good news is that we were able to repair and save half of the spleen. And what does that mean? It should still be able to do its job of fighting infections so that hopefully she won't need ongoing medication. It should. You need to be aware that the next 24 hours are going to be critical. Okay. Well, um, what about a spine? I'm afraid we can't do a proper assessment until Pippa's fully awake. Okay, well, when's she going to wake up? We just need to be patient. We're doing everything to make sure Pippa has the best possible chance of recovery. Three, one, two. It's a late term, what do you want? I was just visiting Rachel. I thought I'd come say hi. It's not really a good time. I know. I live in the same household as Pippa. You're avoiding me, right? Well, what do you expect? I mean, you lied to Annie and she wound up in hospital. I didn't think she'd freak out. I was just trying to... Get her back, what she did to me. She hurt me, you know. You completely humiliated her. And besides, Tam, revenge isn't a very good character trait, if you ask me. I'm sorry. Okay? Did you see Pippa at the hospital? Yeah, I was visiting Annie when they brought her in. Can't believe it's happening. I was playing dolls with her this morning. She's so cute. Brad seems so scared. Look, if you want to help him, say a prayer for them. Well, I was hoping maybe we could go visit her tomorrow, together. I'm moving back to the farm tomorrow. But we can still hang out, right? I don't know. I mean, I have a pretty busy week coming up, and after what happened last week, I, I'm not sure. Um, maybe you should just go. Everything works out for you. Losing a little more blood than we're happy with. But we're hoping it'll settle down and stop completely. Well, if it doesn't? Then we might need to take it back to theatre. There must be a way to avoid that, surely. I mean, look at her. How much more could she take? We're doing everything possible. In the meantime, we need to put in another IV cannula just in case she needs an urgent blood transfusion. Now, Sam, you need to rest. You haven't slept, you need to eat. And that's how Pippa needs me. Yeah, she also needs you to be strong. Well, come on, I'll stay in here. He's been incredibly stable this all night. And never left our side. It's just a shame that it's taken something like this to bring us closer together. Have you seen Alf this morning? No. I don't even know what I'd say to him if I did. Maybe you don't need to say anything to him, but if you heard him, he'd tell you. Yeah, I can't, Leah. I don't want to hear it. If Pippa doesn't come through, there's nothing Mr. Stewart can say or do that's ever going to make up for it.
Rachel went to the hospital to check on people. She says you try to catch you later. Oh, I'll just wait here for her then. Well, she's going to be at work all morning. Why don't you just wait at home? Home. Wherever that is. Oh, Cassie and Nuke's still mad with you for dating Maddie Scooter. They have no sense of humour. I'm bored anyway. Well, I have to go to this kid's place and my mum and his mum are kind of starting to be friends. And let me guess, your mum thinks you guys should be friends too? Pretty much. Except Paul's a creep and he hates my guts. Well, it's just summer with him then. I told you I have to. No, you don't. Bring up until you have measles. Well, that's lying. Just do it. Ditch him and spend the day with me. What's wrong? Jack told me that I'm kind of not allowed to hang out with you. He got everything back that I took. And I got his watch back from that guy who nicked it. Well, I kind of didn't tell him the whole story. Why not? Well, why? Because you didn't want to make yourself look bad. Thanks a lot, Rory. Have fun with you, mate, Paul. I would want to hang out with you if I could. You can. Just make the call. I can't. What if someone sees us? Then we'll go somewhere that no one will. Hey, you're blocking the TV. So? There's nothing on. It's okay, well, there's always some of What, some car shooting you've seen a thousand times? If you're bored, why don't you see what the motel's got? How do you know about motels? Mum and I spent heaps of time in the room. I got you staying out in motels. I know. Boogie boarding. I saw it in there. We can hire them. No. How about we clean the place up for Brad? Come on, he's stuck at the hospital and he's worried sick about Pippa. And if I do something good for him, he might cut me a bit of slack. Fine. But I'm not cleaning the loo. Fine. Put some clothes in a bag and take them to the laundromat. You owe me now. Big time. You owe me. Remember I got your watch back? Oh, yeah. It makes a difference, you know? You being here. People love you so much. I feel terrible. I haven't been able to see her for ages. Are you here now? How are you doing? Okay. I'm trying to stay positive, but... Mostly I'm just scared. Rachel's going to make sure that Pippa's okay. Have you spoken to Mr Stewart today? No. You? No. He didn't even come home last night. Rick thinks he must have stayed on the boat. Well, I'm not surprised after the way that Sal went off at him. But I can tell you that no one's angrier with Alf than he is with himself. Yeah, I know the feeling. I ran off with Hank at the worst possible time. You needed my support and... I was only thinking of myself. I've really missed you. Me too. Hey, Tony. Back to work already, mate? Yeah. Look, sorry I haven't called. Things here have been so hectic. That's all right. No need to apologise. I'm just going to miss having you around, that's all. Listen, <clears throat> Jeff, I'm happy for you and Annie, OK? But if your pop starts giving you grief, I want to hear about it. I think we'll be fine. And you know what? Thank you for everything you've done for me and Annie. Like, we really appreciate it. Oh, it's been a pleasure, mate. But I'm not done yet. Just got a call from that rep coach in the city. It appears his 5'8 has been injured. That's, that's terrible. For him, yeah. But they don't appear to have a suitable replacement, so they were asking me about this young, talented kid that Elf Stewart was telling me about. They want to give me another trial. They do, this week. And I told them you got your boots on, mate. Uh, um, yeah, look, well, I'll see how things go here first. What are you saying? You don't want to play? Well, no, it's just we've got a lot of stuff to get through this week, so... Mate, I appreciate you want to make a go of this here, but if you play well on Saturday, you could play in a team next year. 